Okay, once you've got both of your auxiliary views in your top view and then your front view, we now need to go and complete the top view of the secondary pipe. And to do that, we need to start off by going and numbering our auxiliary view. We always start our numbering in our auxiliary view where we can see the true shape of what we're drawing. So I'm going to use letters and I'm going to label each of the corners. And then I'm going to transfer that labeling into this auxiliary view. And in this case, because I know point D over there flops up and over this XY line, I know that point D here will be the first point I'm going to see on the front part of my top view. So this will be point D. And point B will sit directly behind it. And then from our top view, from our front view over here, we can see that point A here will be right at the very top. So it's the first point you would see from the top view, which means that that over there is going to be A, and this over here will be C. Now that you've got that labeling complete, now we go and take the points from your front view and project them down into your top view. And then we project our auxiliary views points across. And then we simply line up our labels. So if we take point B, line it up with point B coming down here from our front view, then that over there will be point B. Point C, project it down and line it up with point C from our front view. That will therefore be point C, point A, take point A, line it up from point A in our front view, that'll be point A, and then point D, line that up, it gives us point D there, which then allows us to go and complete our top view. by simply joining each of the points that we've now found. And then going and drawing each of the sides so that they hit into our main pipe. And then of course we don't draw point C because point C is at the bottom of the shape and would be hidden detail. Now our next step is to go and find the termination points for our front view to find the, the penetration curve. And our termination points are where point B would end over there, where point A would end over there, where point D would end there, and then point C at the bottom ends in the same place as point A. We need to project each of those termination points up and into our front view. So we take the termination point to point A and you'll see that that is directly in line with the side of our front view there, of the main pipe. And then we take point B and point B and point D should be directly in line with each other. And if we project that up into our front view. That line will then be for point D and for point B. Then all we have to do is go and watch our numbering again to go and find where each of those lines will terminate in our front view. Because we've now projected each of the termination points up into the front view, we just need to go and plot them in our front view. So we take point A, we know point A over there. Okay, its termination point in the top view was over there. So we know that point A will terminate in line with it along that line. So that over there will be the termination point for point A. And we'll mark it again as point A. And then we'll follow for point C. C in our top view over there, it terminates at that point. 
So if we follow that up and we follow point C from the front view, we can see that point C will also terminate on that line. And we can mark that then as point C. Then if we look at point B and point D, both point B and point D terminate on this line. If we follow them from our top view, there's point B, follow it up, it terminates on this line here. So we're going to go and draw our point B and project it in our front view and we're going to project it until it hits that termination line that we've drawn in and that of course will then be point B and you'll see here that point D terminates in exactly the same place but of course point D sits in front so we would have to label that as point D comma B seeing point D first and then point B now, if you have a look carefully at the top view of this main pipe, you'll see that the center of our secondary pipe is directly in line with our main pipe, and the corner of our secondary pipe hits into a corner of our main pipe. When that happens, we know that we don't have any turning points. So once we've found our termination points for each of our secondary points corners for A, B, C, and D, we can now simply go and join those corners in our front view to complete the penetration curve. Then of course because our secondary pipe has come and hit into our main pipe and created a hole in it this inner line over here gets left out mustn't be visible on our front view and that then completes the front view with the penetration curve of the secondary pipe hitting into the main pipe and of course our front lines here between A to D and to C will be the first lines that are seen in the front view and then the lines joined from A to B fall directly behind those lines so we have no hidden detail and the only reason for that is because our secondary pipe here in our top view is perfectly centered on our main pipe. If that was offset, if those two centers didn't line up then we would find hidden detail in this front view.